Hi there, people of YouTube. Uh, Paul here. I decided today to uh, shoot a video to talk about the upgrades that I've made to my pop-up camper, or as I like to call it, my tent trailer. Uh, the first modification that I made was to install this set of roof racks. Now what this has allowed me to do is it's allowed me to put a bicycle rack on the one side to carry my two bicycles safely and it's also given me a place to mount my solar panel. It's just a 30 watt panel but it'll keep the battery uh, topped up through the day so I can run my water pump and my lights and my uh, carbon monoxide detector at other times uh, when there is no sun. Now the, uh, the panel is just uh, wired in here. This wire normally isn't here. I pack it away when I'm traveling. So it's just up now because I'm charging up the battery, getting ready to move to another uh, site. And it just runs into a uh, my battery charge controller and then that protects the battery from the effects of a solar panel and then it's just directly wired into there and of course when I'm uh, when I'm plugged into power from here if I'm plugged into normal power I'll disconnect the solar panel and I won't even use it I'm only using it today because I'm on a site that doesn't have electricity, so I bring my own. Now I'd just like to point out here that when I installed these roof racks, where the screws penetrate the uh, roof line of the trailer, I made sure to use a generous amount of outdoor grade silicone caulking to prevent water from coming in where these roof racks are mounted. Another modification I did to my uh, tent trailer was I changed out all of my uh, lights inside and in these uh, lights out here to LED. They're nearly as bright as the uh, lights that came with it, but they only use two and a half watts of power. These just plug right in. You just unplug the old bulbs. And these just go in as a replacement. And so far they've been working great. Here's another little upgrade I did to my uh, pop-up tent trailer. This is uh, a USB charging station. A 12 volt power outlet. And a battery meter. And all powers on right here like this. So this will tell me what my battery voltage is at. Right now it's hovering between 12.7 and 12.8. We don't have a lot of sun right now, it's getting cloudy. And uh, so this lets me manage my battery. If I notice that it's going to drop like below 12 volts, I'll stop using uh, the uh, 12 volt power. Um, but also when I'm on a site where I have uh, access to uh, power, I can use this to charge up my USB devices and run other things. But I'll just leave that off. Another nice little upgrade I did to my uh, trailer is I uh, installed these light blocking, sound blocking privacy curtains. Now, I found these at JYSK for $20 each. I have uh, one on this side, two on the other side, and then I uh, cut them to, uh, to size and then I just use a, an iron-on hem which really isn't working all that great so I might just run it through a sewing machine later but these are only $20 each and then I just uh, mount them up on a cheap uh, rod to hang them up okay so here I got it packed up so you can kind of see what we can do here with our uh, racks I got both bikes mounted on the roof. Normally I wouldn't go down the highway with the solar panel on, but today we're just going from one unpowered site to another unpowered site in the same park. So I want to get a nice full charge and we keep our canoe on the roof of the SUV. 